Okay, now that we have gone through the uh, warm-up exercise, fan, van, bad, 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 dad, the, thin, I am going to explain to you that for this class we will be focusing that there are two types of speech sounds, consonants and vowels. Consonants are sounds that are like K, B, D, yeah. And vowels are A, I, U, E, O, very good. Now, let me ask you this. Do you know how those sounds are made in your throat? Do you, anyone? Okay, the consonants are produced by obstructing the airstream in the oral cavity. Because, for example, let's say the word, let's make the sound b, b, b. You see that there's your two lips, b, b, are obstructing the airflow. Meanwhile, if I were to say ah, e, nothing is obstructing the airflow. They just go straight through the mouth, from the lungs to the throat, through the mouth. And that's how you produce vowels. Meanwhile, consonants, you have to obstruct the air in some way. B, D, D, K. See? There's always something stopping the airflow. Try saying it again. Try saying it with me. Try saying B, B, B. Okay? What, what is used to obstruct the airflow? Two lips. Great. V. 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 How about that? V. What is used to obstruct those? V. The lips and the teeth. Very good. How about T? T. 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 Yes, the tongue and the teeth. And then D. 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 The tongue and the roof of your mouth, okay? You can call it that for now. And then P, P, same as B, using both lips. And as I have asked you to do previously, when you say the word fan and van, there's some subtle differences, right? There's a difference from the the voice you make when you say fan and van. Now, I'm gonna talk about the first category of this consonant pronunciation. Now, in learning about consonants, the focus is on phonation and articulations, which means there are going to you're going to learn about voice versus voiceless consonants and how the consonants are produced. Now what is phonation or voicing? No? Just like in fan and van, one of those is a voiceless consonant produced while the focal cords are open widely or the glottis just right here is open. Thus, no vibrations. Yeah? You recollect earlier when I told you to say fan versus van? There's a vibration when you say van with a V. Van. Van. Try it. Try it now. Try it again. Van. Van. Now try saying fan. 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 See? No vibration because voiceless consonants. The glottis is like wide open. There's no obstruction from the glottis against the airflow. The voiced consonant, the glottis is slightly, slightly narrow. That's the vibration from where the air passes through it. Now let's go over this again. Let's try making some voiceless sounds, okay? Try saying f, f, f. Th. Try pressing your fingers on your throat so you can feel the difference. Th. Th. 
f, right? But I'm saying b, 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 and then t, the t sound t, 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 and then a k, k, k. Try saying cool, 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 cool. See? Try saying bad, 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 bad. On the other hand, try saying the, 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 v, yeah. The sound of fee, the, 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 the. See, there's a very noticeable vibration on your throat when you feel it. And then b, 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 b. Right? Try saying bad, 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 baby, baby, baby. See, there's some very real vibration. Baby, try saying dad with a D sound. Dad, d d dad, 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 dad. Right? You can clearly feel it. Now, when it comes to consonants, voiceless versus voice is one thing. And yes, this will absolutely help you in your pronunciation, especially when you're trying to sound as closely as possible to an English native speaker. This will help you to blend right in. And I'm giving you the ammunition to know how to produce these voices. Now, in terms of place of articulations, consonants have seven, eight. Eight if you count like one articulation that doesn't exist in the English language but I'm giving you all of it okay I'm, I want you to focus to seven of these now the first is the bilabial sound bilabial here oh I've given you the book right yeah I sent it to, to the class at Modo open that it's titled introduction to phonetics yeah open up to page Page, 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 page. Wait, hold on. Page 12. Right. Can you see the pictures? Right. Types of consonant based on place of articulation. You found it? Right. Now this, this is bilabial. Why is it called bilabial? Because lab labia. What are labias? Lips. Bi is two. Correct. So bilabial using two lips. Exactly. This voice is produced by touching your two lips to obstruct the voice, to obstruct the airflow, and thus you make b, 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 m, 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 right? Just like in bring, pin, meal, that's bilabial. Produced by using the two lips. Now, there's labiodental here. What is labiodental? Dent labio lips, dental teeth. So labiodental is using the lips and the teeth. Pre more precisely, using the lower lip and the upper front teeth. For example, fa, v, v, v. It's like in fan, van, fan, van. See, fan. Then, yes, it is like intersectional to voice and voiceless because, but let's get to that later on, okay? For now, I want you to know about the different place of articulations first. 